I'm here to do a change and chat video with one of my Reborn Art dolls. This is my newest Reborn Art doll. I just got him in the mail the other day and I did a box opening video so if you missed that please go back and watch it because his artist did an amazing box opening presentation for me and I'm just so grateful to have this little guy in my collection. I'm going to be doing quite a few things in this video. I'm going to do this baby's name reveal. I'm going to share with you all my goals for 2023. Um, back in, I think January, I did a long video all about my doll collection goals of 2023, but I've had to change some things. I've had to um, completely get rid of some goals and add some new goals, but I have also accomplished some of my goals. So I just wanted to kind of do a update on all of that. Now, this is the best treat of all in this video. I have some heartwarming footage to share from the new reborn mommy that got her reborn doll. She is a brand new reborn mommy. This is her first doll. I helped her to find this doll. I went and picked up this doll for her, did a little box opening just as a special gift to her. And then my mom took the doll and delivered it to her friend because the new reborn mommy is my mom's best friend. So we're gonna be doing a lot of things in this video. And let's go ahead and get into it. First, here is my little guy. This is the Samuel Sculpt by Cassie Brace and he was painted by Andrea Randall of Pearly Babes. You can actually see all the information about him in detail in his box opening video. So again, go check that out. But I changed him into this little outfit today, a cute little neutral stretchy ribbed sleeper. I don't like how it fits. I'm sure you can tell it's bunching up because the zipper, it's always a toss up whether or not rompers and sleepers with little zippers are going to fit dolls properly or not. I should say babies because even with real babies, zippers can be really annoying with the fit. Anyway, I, I hate it so much and it's bothering me so much that I'm going to take this off of him and change him into something else. So I'm going to change him into this bamboo milk and cocoa romper. I thought this would also be perfect for his very first outing, which I am planning. I just don't know where I'm going to take him yet. Sorry, I'm kind of talking fast in this video because I know we have a lot to get through and I also don't want this video to get kind of boring. Oh, and look, we have a new little mascot in the nursery, a little frog squishmallow. I got him from TJ Maxx. My little sister knows that I love frogs so she saw it and she brought it to me and she was like look and I had to buy it. I had to. <laughs> um, so he's very cute and he's gonna sit here on the changing basket with the baby. First let's change him and I'll talk about my changed goals. Now first of all I did just accomplish one of my goals and that was to make an intro for my videos for my channel. Now I will be tweaking it slightly, changing some things here and there, but for the most part, that's how my intro is gonna be for now. I'm really curious to know what you all think of the intro because I really like it, but I know some people really don't like um, intros or they think that intros that are a certain length are too long. So I'm just curious to hear from you all on that in the comments. Yeah, just let me know if you like it or not. And then I also have been working on my goal of making better thumbnails for my videos. I think that I have been doing a really good job with that. I used to really struggle with it. I would make a video, it would be a great video, and then I wouldn't have a good thumbnail for the video that would really represent the video well. You can probably hear my daughter. She's over here playing and chatting. She just woke up from a nap. Now, a few months ago, I ended up having to sell half of my reborn dolls due to medical bills for one of my children. Very unexpected, didn't see it coming. 
And a lot of my Reborn goals for 2023 revolved around a couple of those dolls. Two of them needing repairs, and instead I just ended up, or not, not needing repairs. One needed some little touch-up repairs, but one of them uh, I wanted to get painted hair on. But long story short, I ended up selling both of them and Fisher. I know that y'all are probably like, no, not Fisher. He was such a gorgeous doll. And he was, and I'm still sad about selling that doll, but I had to do what I had to do at the time. And now, as you can see, I am at a point where I can start building my collection back up again. And this is the first um, Reborn art doll that I've purchased since then. So for the rest of the year, my goals really consist of starting to save up. I've got some plans coming along for a filming and painting studio that I am going to be putting together. My husband is going to help me with that. Actually, he's probably going to do most of the work because he is really good at building stuff and planning stuff. And yeah, so <laughs> my husband is going to be helping me a lot with that. Um, but that being said, I need to be saving some money for doing that. And I'm just really excited to plan that all out, share more with you all as things start to fall into place for that. I don't think that I'm going to have that done until next year. I just don't think I'll have all the money together and, um, my, and that my husband and I will have the time to devote to that for a while, but it's just something that I'm thinking about, planning, and saving for at the moment. One of my other goals is to do a full Reborn Art Doll roleplay series by the end of the year, completely finish one. I do have one planned right now, possibly two. I haven't done a full length long roleplay series on my channel in a long time. That's actually what most of you probably know me for. Um, that's how my channel really got big. It started to really grow was when I did a roleplay series called Journey of a Newborn. And that was super fun for me to create. It's just a really fun um, creative outlet for me to write these little stories and bring the dolls to life. It's such a big compliment to the sculpting artists and the painting artists. I just really love creating realistic roleplay videos and I think that it really brings the doll to life. Well, I'm gonna try to do one before the end of this year. If I don't finish one, I'll at least start one and then maybe finish it next year. But yeah, those are my new goals for the rest of this year and some things that I have accomplished. Now let's move on to the heartwarming footage of my mom's best friend getting her reborn doll. I did a video where my mom and I went shopping for this baby. That outing to Walmart is here on my channel. It's only probably, I think it's two or three videos down under this one. Then I also filmed putting the little basket presentation box opening thing together for her as well and then my mom she does not live anywhere near me she was just visiting at the time so she took the doll back to her friend and her friend lives in the same state she lives in so my mom sent me the footage and I do have permission to share it so here's some of that all right go ahead she's gonna open her new baby
I love her little elephant blanket. Oh my god, she's so tiny and she feels so cute. Isn't she cute? I hope you like it. Oh god, I do. All right. <laughs> so there's more. Yeah. <laughs> Lemons, cherries, strawberries. <laughs> I, I love that one. My grandbaby's got the same outfit. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I feel like it's Christmas Day and I'm a kid. <laughs> I didn't know his sister was coming home. I, I picked that one. <laughs> I, knew. I said, your sister's coming home soon. He said, huh? <laughs> I said, yeah, and I showed him a picture of her. He said, I said, what do you think about your sister? He said, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I said, are you going to help me with Sissy? I said, you going to change your diaper? He said, I'm not changing stinky diapers. <laughs> oh, how cute. Little princesses are bugged. They got little pants and hat. <laughs> I'm glad you found the right one. I couldn't wait. I'm serious. Now I got these new parts. <laughs> and one they, of them things that you wrap around you and you hope to go somewhere. They have um, little car seats her size at Walmart. We saw them the other day. And I hope you love your new baby girl. My mom and I had a great time shopping for her to make her your box opening extra special. I'm so happy I got to help you. And your first reborn dog gives give her lots of snuggles. Oh, I definitely <laughs> will. She'll be having lots and lots of snuggles. Yeah. She'll be sitting I... on my lap while I'm working. Yeah. She's going to have to help you, huh? <laughs> and tell, help you take a nap, probably. Help me take a nap when I get home. <laughs> Now, wasn't that so sweet to see her reaction? I love it. When my mom texted me the pictures and the videos, it just made my day. Actually, I think it made my week. I was so happy to see her reaction. I think that this doll is going to be very beneficial for her. It's going to be very therapeutic for her. And I texted her the other day and asked her how the new baby is doing. And she said, that she has barely put her down. So um, I just wanted to share that with all of you. Um, and the last thing I'm gonna be doing in this video is sharing this little guy's name. So his name is Sparrow. Oh, my daughter's starting to fuss. But his name is Sparrow. I don't have a middle name for him. I haven't been able to find one that really fits, so he may just be Sparrow and not get a middle name. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching, everyone.